So just coming into this van that we looked at, bit of an update. Some work's taken place. Uh, removed the fridge and did it look any look any better behind there? No, no, probably um, a little bit worse, if I'm honest. Um, so the cabling that you can see down there underneath the seat transits through on top of the wheel arch and then into the fridge cavity. Which, as you can clearly see from that, there's no mechanical protection, so no conduit, no duct. Um, there's no supporting of the cables, so the cables are literally just hanging off their own weight, um, which is, you know, I guess the problem with this is that unfortunately this is 12 volt equipment um, and there's not really any standard to be followed from a 12 volt perspective, but if they were doing their job properly, and this has also got 240 volt inside this van, then that should be um, installed in an appropriate manner to make it safe. off-road caravan, um, properly off-road caravan, so um, that will vibrate during corrugations and uh, when it's bashing and crashing down the road, which inside the fridge cavity has the potential to rub up against the fridge, which we want to try and avoid because that's when, you know, circuits stop working or worse, we potentially catch fire inside the van. Anyway. As I say, I don't like doing these videos, but that's terrible. That's not very good. This is a very expensive caravan. <laughs>